In this video, we are going to be talking about keyword research. I always advise you guys before you start a new website or a project, always start with your keyword research just to give you an overview of your competitors and who you're going to be competing with and whether you know, you're targeting the right keyword. Because most people, including myself, have spent lots of time targeting the wrong keyword with little to no volumes and you're competing with big companies like Amazon, eBay and so on. So that's why it's very important to do your keyword research. And we are going to be using Ahrefs free tools for this video. I know Ahrefs, you know, it's a bit expensive. So we're just gonna be utilizing the free tools instead. So if I just scroll all the way down on Ahrefs, as you can see here, free SEO tools. So we are going to be utilizing some of these here. But before I do that, I would like to just, I'm just gonna duplicate this this is what this is my workflow in a way this is how i would do i'll go about this so i'm just gonna make it how many is that four okay so the first one i'm gonna be using for my uh, okay keyword generator again i'll be explaining more in details so next one i'm just gonna use sub checker the last the third one let's do traffic checker and lastly, let's do website authority checker. Perfect. So now, let's say I want to start a new project. So lately, I've been seeing um, this portable blender. Uh, it's quite fascinating. And potentially, some people are making some good earning from it. So I just want to see whether it's something that I should go into, you know. So what I would do, again, I'll keep it the same for the sake of this video. Let's just say United States. Again, choose whichever country that you're in or whichever country you're trying to target right so i'll just head over here and type in portable blender right now press enter let's wait and see here perfect portable blender the first one 15 kd keyword difficulty that means it could be hard to, to rank for for a new website you can see 20k not too bad next one 20 uh, okay but let's see who's ranking for this keyword first just to get an idea because i reckon it will be you know something like etsy or ebay or something like that again heading over to my search checker as you can see keeping the country the same and i just paste my keyword here then i press search right as you can see portable blender amazon Target. Okay, so this would be a very hard keyword to try to target. So I wouldn't, I will stay a bit, I will stay clear of this keyword for now. So let's go ahead over back to, let's close this down. Let's head over back to our keyword here. Let's see. Ideally, I want to be focusing on something, um, anything below 10 uh, would be ideal for me right now. So I will say, you know what, there's two here. Two, okay. 800. Even the 800 is a bit low, but not too bad. But potentially we could find more keywords like this. So let's do, let's say fresh juice portable blender. And what I will do, I'll just copy it again and then over to my SERP checker. Then I'll paste the hair, check SERP. Let's see, I wanna know who's ranking for this keyword. All right, okay. So the first one, which is this company here, freshjuiceblender.com. And, you know, 26 DR, not too bad, 3,600. And what's funny is that they're outranking Amazon, Walmart, okay. So potentially, this is something that we could potentially rank for. Because with a bit of um, backlink here and there and some quality content, we could potentially compete with this company here so what i want to do next i'm just going to copy copy the link and i will go to traffic checker then i'll paste my link there i want to see what the keyword that this company is ranking for and how much traffic that they are generating so i just click search right so 17,500. not too bad okay fresh juice blender okay so 
it looks like they're ranking for their keyword as well their top ranking keyword is fresh juice blender and when you see here the actual website's name is called fresh fresh <laughs> the actual website is called fresh juice blender uh, a quick tip for you guys when you are registering your domain try to you know if possible go for something like this you know include your your keyword in your domain like what they've done here so literally just targeting fresh juice blender blender as you can see he's bringing them 4700 monthly visitors so they have you know different keywords here potentially if i if i'm if i am focusing on this business i'll be focusing on this kind of um keywords and what i want to do let's see here i want to check their because I just copy the link again and I want to check the web authority just to see just to try and solidify the idea that I can actually compete with them okay yeah DR26 definitely I can you know compete with this kind of company right so I just want to go back again and I just want to go through this keyword again see what other keywords that are there so let's see portable blender bottle Okay, it's another keyword. Sims okay, 2,900. I'll just copy it again. Actually, before I go ahead with that, I just want to see more of this company, see what they do. Let's see here. Right, nice. Port fresh juice. How much are these? These are £44. Quite a lot. Not too bad. And I saw something earlier, I saw Alibaba. I think Alibaba is selling the same. Uh, let's grab the keyword again. Just copy it. If I can copy it. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do is just try to get an overview of these products. You know, a bit of keyword research and product um, research as well. So I just head over back to my search checker and let's see. I put a link here, Alibaba Juice Blender, okay? I'm just gonna follow this link. I wanna see, let's close this. Right, okay. It looks similar to what they are selling, aren't they? Oh, this is it here. As you can see. V very similar it's literally the same product and over here you can get it for anywhere between 3 and 1250 which is not too bad so if i have a lot of money to invest in this is the kind of e-commerce website i'll be investing my money in and with you know with sometimes i can most likely outrank um the other company okay not too bad literally just selling the same company it's the same bottle exactly the same it says fresh juice yeah literally exactly the same thing okay interesting as you can see they are making quite a lot of money if they're selling it for 50 pound and they can get it for anywhere cheap like five pound so pff, fair play so yeah let's go back to our keyboard generator and uh, let's try okay Let's go for this keyword. Let's go C, Control C. And then I want to see who's ranking with this keyword again. Right, okay. Amazon, okay. Insider, Target. Right. It seems like. There's a website here called Portable Blender Bottle and they're ranking eighth at the moment. It looks like a missed opportunity. Because ideally this is a branded keywords now. This should be ranking on top of Amazon. And so let's see, let's try and explore why that is. I just want to copy it. Uh, I want to open up my let me just duplicate this page again. What I want to do is open up Traffic Checker again. 
and now I'll paste the URL there let's see okay so traffic 296 yeah okay right so mm, okay I don't understand why okay last let's check their web authority because I want to see I want to know why they're not ranking ahead of Amazon since they have a branded keyword maybe they've not done enough in terms of their SEO so let's just check their web authority right 3.5 yeah so this company here they're literally missing out on pff, a lot of traffic lots of traffic simply because they're not focusing on their keyword as you can see here um two point you know almost three thousand three k free easy traffic they should you know ideally be getting but they're losing it to amazon because they've not focused on the seo and this are the kind of business that i can literally help out in terms of you know focusing on targeting that keyword properly and building the whole website around that keyword let me see where's the website gone again it's gone somewhere um as you can see for the first one where they had a branded keyword they had 26 dr and the other websites with 26 dr and then they're generating over you know 17k visitors and the other website is just where is it going again if i can find it 296 so they are missing out on a lot of traffic free traffic they're missing out on if they just focus on their keyword try to rank for that keyword first and everything else will be easier all right so i don't want to make this video super long but if i were going to go into this niche of portable blender ideally i'll be focusing on keywords such as fresh juice blender this one here as well as maybe portable blender bottle we could get some from there and also we can look into other keywords such as mini portable blender i just, just I'm, I'm gonna have a look at this actually quickly because i want to make i want to make this simple and you know keyword research should be simple you know it's, it's all about research the more you search the more you find out really so if i just click search mini portable blender again 8450 okay not too bad but let me just take out um portable and just do mini blender see how that is it's very broad keyword but we can narrow it down later so mini blender okay mini blender bottle 800 mini blender it's not too bad 7300 okay let's see i want to let's see who's ranking for this maybe it's a no no keyword let's see let's have a quick look Even though it looks good, but let's see who's ranking for this first. Okay, Amazon Food and Wine targets. So I wouldn't really, I would stay away from this keyword here, and just focus on. Uh, I can do mini. We can probably do mini blender bottle, rather than just mini blender, uh, mini blender. So mini blender bottle. Ah, it's still similar. So I'll just stay away from mini blender bottle and just stick with the fr um, the fresh juice blender instead. And the reason why I said uh, I wanted to I would focus on the fresh on the, on the fresh <laughs> sorry on the fresh juice blender is because when you actually have a look at their website, I know that we can do better in terms of SEO in terms of outranking them because that's the only way that we are going to beat them by outranking them. So let me just quickly head over to the website. Here we go. Actually, this web not .co.uk. We want .com. Right. So fresh juice blender .com. Right. It's so just looking at the website. It looks very good. But when you scroll down and you start digging in a bit more, let's see about us. You can see what that is. Da 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 da. da. Right. This might actually even be a dropship um, website. It could be potentially, but I'm, I'm just making an assumption here. 
and if I go on to well, let me see blog so they've written just one blog right uh, April 2015 so that shows me that they're not really and they're not they haven't got enough tropical authority on the keyword so potentially we could um, try and go for this keyword but again I don't want to go into too much details um, on this because I think I've, the video is already long enough but again I hope you guys enjoy this type of content if you want me to make more just leave it in a comment and I will make it more and we can actually start exploring more into this type of ideas on how to go about creating these kind of um, websites and the right way to target it and the right um, planning the SEO and you know which way to go really but um, yeah not making this video too long but before I go I just want to quickly show you my website which is SEO with no nonsense AIpending.com so I'm working on a new tools called chat GPT prompt I'll just quickly show you guys here so the idea is that you've got a page where you can put all your business details here name you can put anything niche target audience goals da 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 fill out all the information and here you have different prompts that you can use for chat GPT so if I go to again I'm still working on it so there's still a bit more to do as you can see here I've got some prompt here basically whatever you fill in here everything just fills in automatically and then what you can then do is copy the prompt and head over to chat GPT so you don't have to keep putting your details all the time so let's say my niche is uh, let's say that portable blender oh not that one because I've already copied it so let's just do let's do blender uh, blender let's do keyword as well with keyword it's been a while okay keyword blender right so now if I go to a keyword cluster or something that should say keyword cluster for blender so it just makes the process a lot easier when you are um, using chat GPT so I'll leave a link in the descriptions for you guys to check out I'm still working on it but you can also check out my website as well um, yeah thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I will catch you on the next video bye